Let's see how to do a craft journal of an old photo and a new photo. So these are the two photographs that I'm taking. One is a vintage one while uh, the other one is a uh, you know fresh look one. Um, so the vintage one is actually me while uh, the blue one is my daughter. I don't know if you see a resemblance but anyways so the vintage one uh, I wanted a blue background for both of them. So you can see that this uh, vintage photograph blue is like more of a, a vintagey blue background while the other blue is like bluish purple and a fresh kind of color so uh, this is how i chose my paper first and then i had this beautiful coat of uh, coat you know element sheet from icraft so i it almost had all the words that i needed if you don't find one you can always um, you know get it printed out Again, this is from the same um, iCraft element sheet. So I think I'll go with uh, these flowers for uh, the vintage photograph thing as it matches the pink uh, frock of mine. While the uh, fresh blue and pink for the uh, my daughter's photograph. Let's see, I've kept these coat aside if at all I uh, would like to use. I'm doing a craft journal so obviously I'll be using no kind of art medium in this I'm just um, feeling very crafty right now so I'll be just cutting and pasting and layering and stuffs like that so here we go these stuffs for the vintage thing I think this matches nicely and um, for this blue this flower or maybe these flowers any one of it let's see there is no hard and fast rule in journaling you know for journaling it's like it's your thing so you can always change your ideas whenever you feel like so i think these are the quotes that i'm going to use i love these quotes simple yet very meaningful so i've just removed all these elements and uh, cut the paper of its size this craft journaling is pretty simple I'm not going to do a lot in this so I'm just going to play around about you know where my quotes will go or um, which should be up which should be down how do I want to uh, place them the photograph I'm thinking the placement the layout of this photo I'm thinking to be in the center because it's like a front facing um, pose that uh, I'm giving and it's nicely there in the center I like the circles which are there behind where I'm holding the I think it's a garden uh, where I used to go when I was this age so um, I also chopped out the flowers let's see this is pretty much it I think I like this placement a lot this is looking um, flat so I'm planning to cut off the leaves and uh, you know so that I can arrange it as layers so uh, I'll just explain you let me uh, take off the screen and let me chop off the leaves so that I can try to show exactly what I'm saying so see if the leaves are cut like this separately what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stick the flower with a two-way tape while I'll put these leaves under it now what this is going to do this is going to give a layer and layering is the best and the most you know important thing not only uh, such that your journal layout looks good but also when you try to do this mindfully so generally what happens is we are thinking you know we are in such a fast world that the only thoughts that we are aware of are the superficial the top thoughts right what happens is the layers of thoughts which are underneath we don't have time to think about that so this is the beauty of journaling when you are journaling you add more and more layers to your not only uh, craft or art page but also to your thoughts so i wanted to give this a vintage look and that's why you just saw that I took the scissor and scraped off um, the edges a bit. I'll do that with the photograph as well. And this was looking too white and too pretty. You know? So I just wanted to make it look 
a bit um, what do you say dark uh, or rather a bit old and so I just took a, a marker and I'm coloring all the edges of course if you have the de-stress ink uh, you can always use that but right now I was not in the mood of that I just wanted to uh, I didn't want to use too many tools I just wanted to enjoy thinking about um, my picture um, I just remember that this was the garden uh, just nearby where we used to live and um, yeah we used to go there and I used to have lots of fun time there so I was just trying to you know gather in a few ideas about that and I was just as thoughts were popping up in my mind I was simply um, attending those thoughts and um, side by side whenever something very nice or very happy memory just popped in I immediately made a note of that in my uh, journal in my notebook and yeah that's the main idea about uh, journaling you need to understand listen and write and validate your thoughts that's the whole idea because at the end the beautiful layout is just going to go inside the book you're going to close the book and you're going to keep it aside so don't worry about the final outcome but definitely give more um, you know take more efforts to uh, listen to what your brain has to tell you so that's how I even blacken few edges so that uh, to give it a more uh, vintagey look and also the photograph and all the flowers and leaves as well so that is one way to just decorate your simple old photo and once you are fine with it it's time to bring out your notebook again and answer this very cute uh, you know write down this very cute letter which you would have written to yourself your present self and uh, this letter will be from the one who is there in the photograph so basically this I think I must be around what two years in this photo if I'm not wrong two or three might be so a three year old a letter from a three year, year old me to a letter from letter to a present me I'd really uh, lots of fun in writing that letter to me um, and I came back to the page and added these little cute small circles so just for fun you know to add on this because yeah this journaling page was uh, really a very happy page so moving on to my daughter's photograph and this one is more of a fresh look a fresh page so these are the words that I just removed for her, the flower, the elements that I uh, chopped off. And if you see the page here is a bit smaller than that of my journal. So I was not sure how to use it. So I just turned around the page and that gave me an idea that, okay, I could, you know, just um, place her here why on uh, right hand side corner because she is facing left right towards the left so uh, that side so I thought of just chopping off a few strips there you go so I chopped off few strips and uh, arranged it with some space so that it covers the whole page I hope uh, I am making sense here so uh, yeah I did this and uh, even while you know this just strike struck me an idea that even while I'm pasting I'll be adding the uh, glue only on the edges so that I can insert the photos and the flowers and the leaves or whatever um, extra elements that I'm adding inside each strip so I think this is going to be lots of fun although it's simple it would definitely um, give me lots of time to finish this page and that's uh, another idea of journaling um, because when you want to just uh, paste the whole simple thing you know you're in a very simple layout it becomes very quick and you get less amount of time to think about that thing so if you are trying to add more uh, creativity to your page you will be taking more time 
of course right so the more time that you take you will be thinking more about that particular page and this gives your brain a bit extra time a bit extra a uh, few extra minutes to ponder over your thoughts and that's the whole idea so i think i have placed i have stuck very nicely even uh, i have not used uh, any special glue or anything simple uh, you know fairy stick in fact i was not finding my uh, white glue so my daughter handed this to me so yeah again this page was also really fun i enjoyed uh, placing each and every flower um, again randomly i love the quotes of course they all were so um, you know like calling me out and it just made sense i didn't wanted to do anything more here but uh, at the same time this felt a bit incomplete so i just grabbed my pen my writing pen and uh, gave this stitch kind of outline all over because i still wanted to spend some more time on this and uh, i also added this uh, glitzy gel it's like an uh, liquid transparent liquid that uh, embosses anything which is there below it if you've seen in my first uh, video the first craft journaling video i have done a butterfly over there so it takes a bit uh, a time to a bit of time to dry but then yeah it comes out really glossy and uh, embossed so i just wanted to add some shine here as this is more of a fresh photograph the previous one was more of a vintagey kind of look so i did this to all the quotes and uh, the stitch ones to all the straps So there it is. I just uh, will leave this aside, and again in my notebook, I'm going to do some journaling while this thing gets dried up. And I think I'm going to add little hearts in the empty spaces uh, later. So uh, the next letter, I think the next uh, journaling part will be to a letter from, let's say your. old one so a 3 year old you to your daughter or whomever you the photograph whomever you are selecting right so in this case what i'm going to do is the vintage girl is writing this letter to this fresh uh, photograph girl i hope i i don't know i'm i'm not finding the correct words to explain but i think yeah i made uh, it clear so this was the whole idea about uh, journaling about me and my daughters you can do you can do this for uh, anyone you know make sure that one is you and another one you can do it with anybody you can journal about your mom your spouse or anyone you want so i hope you liked it and if you do try please share what you have done your views with me you can write in the comment box you can um, find me on my instagram uh, account please do do share uh, your ideas i would really love to um, know more about it thank you very much hope you all enjoyed